Yo, yo, welcome to PTA Sports. I am your host, Pest the Analyst, and boy, did we have quite a week. Uh, you know, I kind of let the loss to the Cowboys marinate for a little bit. You know, went back, watched some more film, just kind of figured out, like, what, what went wrong. And uh, <laughs> a lot of people got some different opinions. Their opinions are different than mine in terms of what went wrong. But uh, one of the things that I really noticed, and I'm really surprised that this is happening already, is that we got the great Eli debate, and it's already happening this week one. You know, I thought maybe week five, six, seven, we'd be doing this. But week one? Wow. Shocked. So... You know, uh, I did my little letter to Eli, right? And so some people who looked at that video, listened to that letter, may feel like I am on the rah-rah Eli side, and uh, that couldn't be farther from the truth, all right? As I said in that video, like, I'm in the middle, okay? I love me some Eli Manning. He's my favorite player, okay? Uh, but I also recognize the fact that and Eli's old, right? Best days are behind him. I said that. And, uh, you know, it's just difficult. It's difficult to, to kind of determine whether or not this guy's done. But if you listen to some uh, YouTubers, right, that I highly respect, you know, some of them say that, that he's done. Some of them say that he's not done. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. This is one of those things where we get just, we got to just kind of wait and see. We got to wait and see. Uh, I don't think that, you know, he should be benched. I think that we continue to let him play at least for a little bit, you know. Let's let's see what he can do, uh, and, and we'll go from there. But it is what it is, right? Uh, we all know that it's going to be difficult for Eli to go out there and ball out every week against some of these defenses that we're going to face, right? And uh, we knew that he wasn't going to ball out against Dallas. So, listen, it is what it is. Um, to the YouTubers that I that I highly respect, uh, let's go ahead and name them. Uh, Entertainer, Bad Dog, Ron Effect, Fist Vegas. I watched Copizzle's video. Copizzle, that video was dope, all right? I, that video was really dope. It kind of got me hype. Uh, listen, I respect all you guys. I respect all you guys' opinions, right? I, I can't say someone's wrong or someone's right. I saw Kid Blue talking about it. You know, listen, hey, opinions are opinions are opinions, right? You're all entitled to your opinion. I, I'm not going to say whose opinion I agree with or whose opinion I disagree with because at the end of the day, it's irrelevant. Like right now, Eli's going to be under center. Let's just enjoy it while it lasts because he's going to be gone here soon. And, and, you know, we'll see what he can do, and we'll go from there. So, uh, you know, that's kind of my take on this great Eli debate that's happening right now. I'm still in the middle, all right? I'm going to cheer for him uh, today when he plays the Buffalo Bills. I, I hope he has a great game. I'm going to cheer for him every time he's under center. And when he's not under center, I'm going to cheer for the Giants because ultimately that's who I'm cheering for. I'm cheering for the New York football Giants. So... Hey, hopefully uh, we'll have some good uh, some good news to talk about uh, over the course of the next seven days, and uh, and we'll all have a party as a Giants community. And we'll see what happens. So let's uh, let's talk about this this game that's coming up. Um, this is going to be difficult. All right, it's going to be rough. We got uh, we got some some injuries that are really going to hamper us a little bit. You know, with Sterling Shepard, him having that concussion. Um, honestly, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see him get the concussion uh i'm gonna have to go and look again uh because I, I, I didn't see I, I know that the the league's talking about you know the giants not utilizing the protocol appropriately i, I can't speculate because I, I didn't see it i have to go back and look but uh him not being in the lineup that's gonna gonna really uh really hamper us a little bit that's gonna hurt um i know that uh cody latimer was on the injury report uh, I know that Dexter Lawrence was on there. Marcus Golden is on there. Darius Slayton's still on there. I saw Zeitler was on there, but Zeitler's a G. He gonna play. Uh, Garrett Dickerson, I saw he's on there. Um, hey, listen, we gotta we gotta play through these injuries, right? They say uh, in this league it's next man up. So next man up. Um, if 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 I'm gonna say who's gonna who's gonna ball out in this game, you know, obviously Evan Ingram, he's gonna ball out. I I believe and I hope that he does. 
Uh, but hey, you know what? Maybe Benny Fowler steps up, has a good game. Maybe Cody Latimer is able to play because I'm I'm seeing that he's going to potentially be able to play. Maybe he steps up and, and, and he has a good game, you know? But uh, <laughs> honestly, the offense right now is the least of my worries because this defense is what the problem is, all right? Uh, we've got to figure out a way to contain Josh Allen, all right? Josh Allen is a is a quarterback who is very mobile. Historically, we have a problem dealing with mobile quarterbacks, right? And uh, and that that's going to have to be our focus is getting pressure on Josh Allen. Right. Uh, Keeping him contained, keeping him in the pocket, making him uncomfortable like that. That's what we're going to have to do. Unfortunately, I don't really know where the pass rush is going to be coming from. Um, You know, I'm really high on on the Rizzo Carter. I'm really high on O'Shea and Zimenez. Uh, You know, hopefully one of those two guys step up. Right and and put some pressure on the quarterback. Maybe get a sack. Maybe I don't know. You know, like I don't I don't know. Hopefully that that we can accomplish. You know, at least pressuring the quarterback and making him uncomfortable. Um, our secondary has got to do a better job than they did uh, last week. And hopefully that Hamilton guy is sitting on the bench. Okay, we need to get DeAndre Baker out there. All right. We need to get love out there. We need to get Ballantyne out there. We need to get Haley out there. All right. I'm not worried about Janoris Jenkins. He didn't have a great a great game. Right. It was it was what it was. But, uh, you know, I'm not so worried about him. Uh, I'm, I'm not so worried about our safety play. Right. Our safety play does have to do a better job. But that was week one. We working out the kinks. All right. But like the the key to this game is to not let Josh Allen beat us with his legs. Make him throw. Make him play quarterback. All right. If we can do that, then I think we got a chance. All right. That, that, that's just that's my opinion. I think that we have a chance to win this game, but it's going to be predicated on the defense playing way better than they did last week. I think offensively, um, we got to feed Saquon, man. 11, 11 rushes. That's not going to get it. I believe uh, if if I remember correctly, when it was all said and done, he had like 16 touches total between rushing and receiving. Man, we got to get Saquon the ball. All right. We have to because this Bills defense is no joke. All right. They play really, really good defense. And and we're going to have to get them to put eight men in the box, make them respect the run, utilize play action, not play action rollouts. OK, but utilize play action to get, you know, those those linebackers and those safeties to cheat up, to bite on the on the run fake and and, you know, hit them down the field when Ingram hit them down the field with Latimer. All right, Benny Fowler, it's time for you to step up. C.J. Jones, he had a pretty good uh, preseason. All right, can it translate to the regular season? These are things that we're going to have to to do in order to win this football game. Now, do I think, honestly and realistically, we're going to win? I don't think so, right? Uh, uh, I was having a conversation with, uh, with my boy Randy. Uh, from the Cover Zero podcast, and uh, I said that I don't, I don't think that uh, the Giants are going to be able to win. I believe that the the line is like two and a half, um, and I wholeheartedly feel like the Giants could lose this game by three. Okay, um, I hope I'm wrong, right? I, I hope that that's a bet that I would lose, um, but I. I can't say that I'm like super confident right now in this team to go out there and be able to to beat the Bills this week. I, I'm just I'm not super confident. All right, but could we pull this one off? Absolutely, we absolutely could, and I hope that we do. So with that said, uh, I appreciate you guys from coming and checking out my video. All right, please like, uh, subscribe, share, let your friends know. Tell everybody about PTA Sports. Let's go, Giants. Let's have a good game. All right, y'all. Deuces.